my name is Amanda and this is my channel Amanda Colors. Welcome um, if you are new and welcome back if you are um, if you have watched the channel before. Um, today I am going to do a requested video which is a review on the Pantone oil based coloring pencils. I mentioned these pencils in um, a haul video which I will link up in the cards um, and I had a few people ask how what they like how they go down um, all that kind of thing so I thought I would do a little bit of an unboxing and review um, I'll swatch them out and I will also do um, a little bit of coloring with them so that you can see how they go so let's get started This is the beautiful box of 72 Pantone oil-based pencils. You can also get these as um, water-based pencils. Um, I'm not sure if that means that they will activate like watercolors. It probably does, but I only have the oil-based ones. Um, if you are unaware, Pantone is a world-leading brand when it comes to color pigments, mostly within the um, printing industry. Um, it does cross over into fashion and interior design, but Pantone colors are a specific formulation that if used anywhere, anywhere in the world, um, you will get the exact color, which is really good for um, business branding and any situation where you need an exact color. Um, and I just happened to be scrolling through Facebook one day and an ad came up um, for these pencils. Um, and I didn't even know that Pantone made colored pencils. So being a graphic designer, I absolutely had to get them to try them. So I did. And they, as I said, they come in this beautiful tin. Um, so we have a layer here. I might zoom you in just a little bit. There we go. We've got um, a top layer. It comes with a sharpener, which I haven't used yet. I will try that in a moment and we can see how they sharpen. I have used these a little bit, but um, I'll be using them sort of, I guess, properly today. As you can see, they have a beautiful white barrel. They've got a timber barrel and the end is dipped in color. Each pencil has the Pantone brand and then colored pencil and then a number at the end there, which corresponds to the Pantone color code. So this particular um, dark brownie red is identified as 2172 within all Pantone products. Um, it is a hexagonal barrel and it is white lacquered on the outside. So then we have the second layer which has a beautiful range of colors. Um, you also receive two graphite lead pencils. Um, they're a short size. Uh, I don't know if I'll really be using those much but they're handy to have in there. Um, yeah, so I have created for myself a, um, a color chart so that I can do some swatching and I will do that now and I'll speed it up so that you can just see in um, faster than real time. I'll just get myself set up and then I will get swatching. I just realized that I had been swatching and the camera wasn't rolling. So I have started the first couple of rows there um, and I will just continue on now.
okay so that's all the swatching done um from what i can see on my screen the colors look more muddy on the screen than they do um in real life they're actually really lovely colors um they're bright and clear uh even the darker colors there, there's like there isn't a muddiness to them um they're quite clear colors which is really really lovely um i will say that i'm really surprised that the barrel color doesn't actually oops the barrel color here doesn't actually match the color that it comes out as i'll just zoom in for you here as you can see this is a much more purpley pink and this looks more like a neon pink um so that's a bit surprising considering pantone is all about color matching um i have also found that they don't layer particularly well um so you can kind of only really get maybe three layers of color so i'm not sure how that will impact any sort of blending um and they kind of are a little bit crumbly when you are coloring with them there's a little bit of fallout that happens um but the colors are just beautiful uh so i guess there's pros and cons uh both ways with that yeah so i um i also wanted to show you this really cute mug that um my mum bought for me it says every snack you make every meal you bake every bite you take i'll be watching you and it's um she's put our dog's name harley on there and i have just been using this for my pencil shavings um so i want to see how the sharpener that came with the set how it goes it feels quite nice in your hand it's wired around here to hold on to uh, which one shall I sharpen? Why does it really matter? Let's just sharpen this one and see. Okay, it feels quite good actually. Oh, and it gets a very fine, let's see, can you see that? Very fine point, which is how I like my pencils to be actually for coloring. So that's a bonus. Yay for a good sharpener. Okay, now, Excuse me, sniffling, my allergies are still quite bad. I am going to colour in the Mine Rice Dutch Asien. Yes, Rita Berman is bringing out her Asian book. Very, very exciting. It's only about a week away, I think. Um, and she has released this single um, free page. So make sure you check out her Facebook group. Um, I will try and remember to put a link in the description for that. Um, and this is only, this page is only available for um, two weeks. So make sure you get onto that quickly. I'll zoom you in a bit so we can have a bit of a look at what is here. Maybe a bit more. So here we've got some beautiful little, um, like a tea, a matcha tea service. And then here are some lovely, oops, excuse me, lovely paper lanterns and some um, bowls and cherries and a flask. This one in the center, let me get my directions right. Here is a scene of like a temple and mountains, cherry blossom sakuras, uh, and some other buildings that are in an Asian style. Then we have some cute little, uh, I think they're dolls and I can't remember what they're called. Are they Mickey dolls? M-I-K-I? -I? Can't quite remember, but they're super cute. We also have uh, a little boat and a lucky cat, which is also super cute. So I thought I might do a quick little color, um, maybe of these little dolls. Um, here we go. 
um, yes, so I'll use these Pantone pencils and let's see how they do with actually coloring. Um, okay, I might do a purple background. So as I said, unfortunately the, um, the color on the barrels of the pencils are not the same as how the colors come out. So the, um, swatching is pretty important because otherwise you're really not going to know what color you will actually get. And yeah, it's really quite surprising that that a Pantone product would look, would turn out like that uh, because they pride themselves on color matching. It does make me wonder that if maybe this is a licensed product rather than directly from Pantone themselves, um, but it does have the trademark symbol on the on the tin so I'm guessing they are proper Pantone um, a proper Pantone product but yeah it's just surprises me so they are going down quite nicely um, I printed this on the Derwent uh, what's this paper here? <laughs> the Derwent Academy. Uh, when I see my um, what's on my phone on my screen, it's actually turned the other way. So um, my directions are all back to front. Here we go. The Derwent Academy Artist Drawing Pad is what I have printed this page onto. Um, yeah. So it has a bit of tooth to the paper, which is really nice. And it does pick up the pigment of these Derwent pencils nicely. Um, I actually am hardly pressing at all and color is coming out. I did notice when I was swatching though, that some of the lighter colors um, don't, aren't very, well, it sounds funny because they're lighter colors that they're not very pigmented, but, um, it's actually quite difficult to get the color, uh, to see the color. So I guess that's because they're a harder core pencil perhaps, or I'm not quite sure, but I just noticed that as I was coloring the swatches. Just adding a bit of a darker purple around the background. Now, I don't pretend to be a professional when it comes to using pencils because I, for many, many, many years, I have mostly used uh, Copic alcohol markers for coloring. But I am trying to improve my skills with pencils. Okay, let's do some leaves. The other thing that I found that I do like um, with these pencils is that there is a good range of colors. Um, you've got quite a lot of purples, quite a lot of greens, some beautiful um, blue greens and like aqua tealy turquoisey colors, which are some of my favorite colors to use. Uh, so that's always nice, I guess with um, when it comes to having 72 pencils, you do have the opportunity to be adding a good variety of colors. Um, there are a few grays, some cool and warm grays, um, but there are just some unique colors, like there's some beautiful peachy colors. Um, I might use a peachy color now, actually. Um, let's do this lantern peach. So yeah, quite a lovely range of colors. Excuse the doors banging downstairs if you can hear that. As I keep saying, we have lots of people come and go. Um, 
as they care for my stepfather. His health really isn't good at the moment, so it's been quite difficult for us as a family. But we are just happy for the time that we get to have with him. Every extra day is a blessing. Let's do a little bit of a glow. Oopsie, drop the pencil. I'm not sure if you can see that. He's very, very pale. So layering over other colors isn't the best, but it does kind of work. just so cute their faces are so cute um, okay this is probably the closest to oh, maybe we can do this color really lightly as a skin color that is one thing that the pack is lacking some skin tones It's a bit rough. How cute is this one? I'm not sure who she reminds me of, but she reminds me of a character from something. It is a bit of an odd color for skin, but that's okay. It's the best option we got. It's funny, I find that um, mostly when I color, I tend to just use one brand or one pack of pencils for a picture. Although in my Inky, um, Ivy and the Inky Butterfly book, I have been using different pencils, but I just tend to try and make it work with the pencils that are in one set and I'm not sure why I do that because I have a number of sets and they would all like they would complement each other if I use them and I'd have a wider range of colors do you do that too do you um tend to use one one set of pencils at a time or do you mix them up and just use the colors that you want no matter what um no matter what brand they're from or set they're from. Let me know in the comments because I would be interested to know. Let's use this beautifully sharpened pencil that we just, oh, the end just broke. That's okay, it was just the very, very end. Coloring is so much fun, isn't it? I wonder what it is about it. It's so fun. Sometimes I think it's the idea of possibilities that draws me to coloring. You can create anything really. work out what's going on down here. I'm guessing it's folds and ruffles in her kimono but that's quite unusual. See this um, color is really quite pigmented. I hardly have to press at all for it to go on quite dark but the, um, the peachy color was quite the opposite. Um, sorry, I'm being quite indecisive when it comes to colour today, which is not like me, really. 
and this light blue I'm having to press really hard to kind of get anything to come out onto the paper. Super cute little ladies. Okay, this video is starting to get probably a bit too long. So I will leave it there. Um, I will finish it off sometime and put it on Instagram. So make sure you are following me at amanda.colors and that's colors with a U. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this, um, this unboxing and review and swatching of the Pantone pencils. Um, my overall thoughts are that the colors are gorgeous. Um, some of them are a pleasure to use. The color goes down really lovely, lovely, lovely. <laughs> um, and but the colors on the barrels don't always match the color that actually comes down onto the paper. Um, they layer, they don't layer the best, um, but they're beautiful to look at the actual pencils are beautiful and also the color that they put down are beautiful and really if you're just wanting to do some fun little coloring with some beautiful colors they're totally great pencils i'm really impressed with the sharpener um considering it's just it just comes free in the pack um but yeah they're my thoughts i would love to hear if um if you are considering buying these pencils and using them yourselves yourself um, I will put a link to where I purchased them from it is a shop here in Australia um, I'm unsure where you would purchase them internationally um, as they don't seem to be like a super common product so um, yeah you might have to have a bit of a look around if you are an international viewer so thanks again for watching and yeah i do really hope that you found this helpful um and i will see you in my next video bye